Hello and welcome to uh, Dating Etiquette, the podcast where we explore a fascinating world of dating and uh, relationships across cultures. Uh, I'm your host, Angelo Gonzalez, and today we're diving into the diverse, sometimes surprising uh, ways people find love, navigate relationships around the globe. We'll look into maybe traditions, customs, unique practices, uh, the shape that shape dating landscapes in various cultures, from the busy streets of Japan, the sunny beaches of Brazil, tourist-filled landmarks of UK, and we'll uncover the rich tapestry of human connection that transcends borders. Let's get started. With me, I have three guests. Ko, from Japan, an experienced dating samurai. Hello, Ko. And hello. Isa from Brazil, a mega party animal, so a normal Brazilian. Hello. And Amelia from UK, who is open for love without borders. Hello. I'm just speculating a little bit here. Um, yes, so I have some uh, open questions for all of you, whoever feels like answering, whoever feels like, oh, this means something to me. I think on behalf of my country, I have something to say. <laughs> and my first question is, uh, in your country, who makes the first move? Yeah, uh, in Japan, usually like men make first move because like it's it's totally normal because I don't know like because of some uh, influence of like philosophy like Oriental philosophy like uh, Confucianism or something like that like men. So men are to expected to make the yes, first move. Yes. Okay. Okay. What do you girls uh, say? To be honest, in England, there's no rules for who makes the first move. It's more common that the guy does, just because of traditional ideas, I guess. But it can go both ways, and I've seen it go both ways. But there's no rules, really. It just happens. Yeah. So you think there's not so much pressure from society that there has to be... No, um, I mean, I think guys do feel pressure to make the first move. But ah. you do get a rare occasion where the girl does it. But it's more just expectations thing. Okay. So. Okay. In Brazil, if you're like dating like serious, it's always the men, always. But like, if you just want like a quick hookup in a party, then sometimes the girl goes for the guy. But like, you know, when it comes to taking the first move, like asking for a date, it's very, depends on the area of Brazil. Because mm -hmm. there are some areas that are more um, modern-ish and some more conservative, but usually the men. Have, uh, have any of you made the first move? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> I mean, I've said a guy was cute, maybe, but not to his face. Just okay. to my friend, who then told him. So oh, it's wow, not you like, send the yeah. messenger? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Same. Go and tell that guy over there that he's cute. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. All right. So there's still pressure on, on men to make the first move, whatever that means. Um... And, uh, and what is a normal first date in your uh, cultures? Um, I would say in England, they normally take you out somewhere to eat or just go into town. Like, it will be really casual. Sometimes you will just go and have, like, a Netflix and chill at their house. But it depends mm. what their intentions are with you, I think. Should we clarify what Netflix and chill means for the kids that are listening to <laughs> this? <laughs> Hopefully only adults are listening to this. But do you literally mean watching a TV series or... Hopefully, Are yeah. you home alone? <laughs> um, I mean, you never know what's going to happen, really. But Depends on the TV series taste. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, so what is a, a normal date in Brazil? I think in Brazil, you usually... Hello. In Brazil, you mm -hmm. usually uh, take somebody out as well for dinner. But it's like the first date, they're always trying to impress you. Like, Brazil has a very flashy culture. So, like, the guy wants to show that he has a lot of money. So he will usually, like, if the, he doesn't have a nice car, like, some guys, like, rent a nice car and, like, take you out mm -hmm. for, like, a nice restaurant. Or, like, movie theater is also very common. But, yeah. Okay. Wh mm. Which car would you rent to take a, a Brazilian uh, person out on a first date? <laughs> which car? Yeah, which car would you rent? That's a big decision. Yeah. Like, <laughs> usually I would wear about, worry about which shirt to wear, but mm -hmm. now I have to worry about which car to rent. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yeah. little too much. It's just normal car. Normal car, so <laughs> Japanese brand, yeah, so Japanese Toyota. Brand, yes. Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what is a, a like a regular date in Japan? Like going to 
a cinema or like going to a restaurant just and bar yeah it's normal it's quite normal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somehow i imagine your restaurants are cooler than our restaurants in europe J no just like you know like japanese style bar like izakaya or something like that yeah i actually don't know <laughs> how does it look like what's the difference mm, like western bar is more like Noisy, <laughs> I don't know. Noisy, <laughs> okay. Yeah, but Japanese izakaya is like Japanese style. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to explain. But yeah. so it's more quiet. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So. Okay. But you sit at a table and you have a waiter who comes and mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's so it's it's the same in that sense. Mm -hmm. I was just imagining what else could be different. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think also in Brazil, I forgot to say, okay. it's very common for you to invite two parties. So. House parties are like public. No, like public clubs. Like you invite a girl to a club, and then she's like your date for the night. It's very common. Oh my goodness! It feels like you're showing off. Hey, everybody! This is my date. Mm. That's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> yeah. This is my car. This is my date. Oh my goodness. Yep. All right. And um, what would you say is the the difference that people experience as uh, dating from uh, from the the guy's point of view who has to worry about impressing or showing off or the girl's point of view what are they what are you worrying about i think the guy really worries about like impressing the girl seeing if he's going to like get chosen because in brazil also it's very common for a person to have like multiple dates at a time like uh, not, in the same night no but ah. like dating multiple people so the guy wants to be the one who's going to stand out so i think that's a, quite a little pressure but the girl also, I think, has even more pressure because she wants to be the guy. She wants to be the girl that the guy is gonna settle down with. Wow, so that's, it's both ways. that's a lot of pressure, Cole. <laughs> Imagine you're yeah. not only focusing on your date; you're still focusing on, oh, she's probably dating someone else tomorrow mm -hmm. and after tomorrow. Oh my god. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, in Japan, what is the? What do you think is the main difference of yeah. expectations? Mm. Just like expectation, like yeah, like uh, for example, what kind of uh, what do men expect on the first date? What do women expect on the first date? Mm. For example, this is maybe something from movies, but is it expected a uh, potential kiss on the first date? Uh, it's let's say it's a little bit too much. A little like, bit too yeah, much for yeah, Japanese yeah, culture. Yeah. Like yeah, after three dates or after four or okay. five dates, it's normal to kiss. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> it's too it's too fast like you know okay yeah oh, and no. it, this yeah. is still right now it's not just a generational thing it's like young yeah, people i guess yeah like younger gen in younger generation like the kissing in fast state is yeah a little bit normal but it's still like there in yeah older generation that's so. crazy <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in Brazil, you usually kiss the person before going on the date. Okay. So like, oh, you just met them at a party or something. Then you first kiss them, and then you get their WhatsApp number. Okay. And then they invite you on a date to like get to know you. Okay, it's totally different from yeah. Japanese culture. That's crazy. Yeah. I would love to hear about uh, Japanese people dating Brazilian people. <laughs> oh, I would love to kiss you. Oh, no, not until the third date. But we cannot go on dates until kissing. This is confusing. <laughs> All right, the etiquette. And how is it in the UK? What is like the um, the difference that? Um, I think a big thing is who expects who to pay for the date as well. <laughs> I think it's really common for the guy to pay. But at the same time, like nowadays, it's becoming more common to ask to split the bill. So mm. Oof, I can't. <laughs> you can't. I mean, I personally don't mind. But oh, as long so as I'm not paying for the whole thing. <laughs> But yeah, I think that's a big thing. And then obviously, yeah, just trying to impress each other. Um, I wouldn't say it's normal to have like loads and loads of dates at a time, but there are people who do that. Like I know if you, people have dating apps, some people mm -hmm. go on dates like once a week at least. I had a friend once <laughs> who went through a phase of that, you know, but it really varies. Yeah. But Isa, you said you couldn't handle that. What are you talking about? Uh, in Brazil, I think it's if a guy asks to split the bill mm -hmm. on the first day, that's like the major red flag. <laughs> like major red flag. Like 
you are okay. I'll split the bill, and then you don't go on a date with him again. Yeah, I but like personally, I never, they never asked me. I feel like it depends as well on like if the guy invited you out, like yeah. I'm taking you here, mm -hmm. then you should probably expect them to pay. But there's always the etiquette that you offer to pay, but he should always yeah, deny it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. You should always deny it. Yeah. Uh, Cole, would you let uh, uh, your date pay for you? Yes, I usually pay. But no, no, but would you let your date I'll pay let. for you? Yeah, I let, but like usually, like men pay for the date. So. Okay. Wow. So renting the car and paying for the date. <laughs> what a world we live in. We're going broke over here. <laughs> And uh, but a parenthesis with the, with the paying thing, it's because like in Brazil, it's so common that the man wants to impress that if he has to split, the mm -hmm. girl takes his ass. It's like, oh, he doesn't want anything serious with me. So yeah. it's it's actually a way of communicating. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's more of like, oh, if he didn't pay the bill because he probably pays for other girls that he wants to impress, oh, so okay. he didn't really care about me. You know? So if you're wondering how the date is going, can we split the bill? Oh no. This is not going well. Is yeah. that how you interpret? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm curious about uh, in your countries, uh, do people date uh, people from other uh, countries, ethnicities? Do they mix it up or is it more keeping it in within your own uh, culture? I think it depends what you mean. Like, do you mean people who actually live in other countries or people from other ethnicities and countries who are living in the same place as you? I guess within your group of friends, is there a lot of like people talk about dating? Because we live in a very global world and it's much easier to meet people from other mm. cultures. Yeah. Um, um, so, so, for example, would it be unusual for you if you went on a date with someone from Japan? Oh, no, no, it wouldn't be unusual. I think it's really common for people to go on dates with people from other countries and ethnicities. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people have types you know, that are from different ethnicities now in the UK is very normal. Mm -hmm. And because there's, I mean, I live in London, so there's a lot of different ethnicities, a lot of diversity. So, Okay, London is also an ordinary. example of a very multicultural, uh, yeah. it's called a melting pot. Uh, most of the time. What about Japan? It's it's so rare. Rare? <laughs> yeah, it's so rare. Because if if I hear, if I heard, like, some of my friend is dating with, like, other like other ethnicity like i'm gonna be surprised oh, okay you got like tell me everything <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell yeah, me yeah. is she brazilian like oh my god <laughs> did she made you kiss on the first date <laughs> that's crazy yeah it's crazy <laughs> yeah in brazil i would say that it is fairly common for a woman to date like european or like european men or also like but I think it's fairly common to look for other like Latin countries, mm -hmm. like neighbor countries, but Brazil doesn't have that big flow of immigrants like some countries in Europe do. So it's kind of like more if a woman travels or if like a tourist, they usually want to be with the Brazilian woman. So you see a lot of girls that date European men, but for men, usually no. For men, I, it's more rare that men date foreign women. Mm. I don't know. It's that. But yeah, just. Mm -hmm. What about cheating? What is your feeling about? Is it common? Do people talk about it? Is this something you don't talk about? How is it in your like group of friends? For my group of friends, it would be very surprising. I think if someone got cheated on, just because of the kind of guys we go for. But like I've, I've seen a lot of cheating happening outside of my friend group. People who I went to school with, I would hear every other week or. Oh, he cheated on her, he cheated on her, and the girl would never find out or or she would find out and just forgive him. It's been very normalised. And people also getting with each other's friends. like. But I think it really just depends on who you go for and you have to be careful. If you're going for, like, the party animals, or then you're probably... You're in danger. Getting, yeah. <laughs> Was that a personal attack? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you saw? No. Yeah. Yes, I, I did label you as a party animal, but I, <laughs> I mean it in a good way. I mean, yeah. We were all impressed. I'm the, the best party animal. Yeah. But in Brazil, cheating, it's very common, uh, <laughs> sadly. <laughs> but also, 
especially between like men. Men cheat a lot, but the woman usually never forgive. And it's like <laughs> this big deal. So I guess it's like 50-50 balance of the deal. Mm. I feel like we, we should bring a Brazilian man here to, to give the other <laughs> yeah. sides. A lot of accusations are being put on the table. Men cheat a lot. <laughs> and in Japan? It's, it's also rare. Rare? Uh, yeah. Or rare that you talk about it. What is your, <laughs> what is your perception? <laughs> yep. Like, it depends on if you have the, like, serious relationship mm. or not. So, like, if you have not serious relationship, like, it's not so common, but it's common to, like, cheat. But if you have serious relationship, it's so rare, like, to cheat on, like, partner. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's because I was wondering with all these apps and with all this rotation of mm. dating so many times, uh, multiple times a week, right? If people maybe have become more mm, mm. relaxed about their relationships or their feelings of loyalty. Um, yes, but uh, we are out of time. Mm. We wanted to keep this short and sweet and hear some thoughts, some colorful stories from your countries. And I think we did it. So thank you for sharing that. Um, we've we've learned a few more uh, kind of uh, facts from from your side, um, and I promise to keep this conversation between the three of us and maybe just a couple of listeners. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, have a nice day. Thank, thank you. you.